Since July 30th of 2022, much attention in Iceland has been placed in the Krishavik volcanic system as a shallow intrusion of magma generated more than 8,000 earthquakes, the largest of which was a magnitude 5.5. While this would eventually result in a new volcanic eruption, minor volcanic activity began also occurring at another volcano in Iceland. On August 2nd at 12.42pm local time, an earthquake storm began at the Grimsvon volcano specifically in the eastern section of its caldera complex. These quakes largely occurred at unusually shallow depths of 1-2km to two kilometers, which was highly suspicious. Since these quakes occurred in combination with minor amounts of volcanic uplift which had been ongoing since late March of 2022, Grimsvon's alert level was subsequently raised from green to yellow. For context, the Grimsvon volcano is located 220 kilometers east of Reykjavik, where it is located under a massive ice sheet known as Vatna Jokul. This glacier is the site of six highly active volcanoes which each have erupted or are suspected to have erupted in the last 300 years. In a manner of speaking, this glacier could be considered the volcano capital of the country. The reason why volcanic eruptions are so common here relates to why volcanism exists in Iceland. In the mantle underlying the nation is a hotspot which supplies molten rock to the surface just like seen in the Canary Islands or the Hawaiian Island chain. This hotspot is currently centered between the Grimsvon and Bardo Bungo volcanoes and as a result they are incredibly active. In fact, Grimsvon is considered to be the most active volcano in the country, erupting about once every 9 to 14 years. Several eruptions since 1930 occurred on the southern wall of its central caldera complex. Its last eruption in 2011 was no different, ejecting 0.8 cubic kilometers of basaltic tephra in what was nearly a VEI-5 eruption. In addition to other effects, this 8-day long eruption caused more than 900 flight cancellations across Europe. However, not all of Grimsvon's recent eruptions have occurred from within its caldera. To the southwest, Grimsvon is linked with a series of lengthy fissure systems. One of these fissure systems produced Grimsvon's most famous eruptions, when from 1783 to 1785, a 27 kilometer long fissure with 140 craters and vents erupted, producing massive amounts of basaltic lava in what could almost be considered a miniature flood basalt. By the time the so-called Lackey eruption had ended, 565 square kilometers of land had been covered in molten rock by 14.7 cubic kilometers of material. While earthquake storms and long-term uplift are both signs of volcanic activity, there is a crucial third sign at Grimsvon which has not yet occurred with its latest unrest. When this volcano's fumaroles are heated to unusually high levels, or lava begins erupting beneath the ice sheet, it causes large amounts of glacial runoff to occur in what is known as a yokulop. The last group of notable yokulops occurred during November and December of 2021, when Grimsvon was also at a raised alert level. Thus, for now, it does not appear that magma is rapidly moving towards the surface, unlike what recently occurred at the Krishavik volcanic system. The true root cause of these quakes is still relatively unclear, with possible causes ranging from minor magma movement to hydrothermal fluid movement, local tectonics, or they could simply be glacier earthquakes. Glacier earthquakes are most frequently observed at volcanoes which have glaciers in the northern hemisphere during the hottest months of July and August, which is when the highest rate of glacial retreat occurs. This removes pressure on underlying faults which beforehand were partially prevented from moving due to overlying mass generating an earthquake. While the latest episode of unrest at Grimsvon is not as remarkable as what was witnessed during November to December of last year, it is still early so a close eye will be kept on this volcano for the time being. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Rick Forschler for supporting this channel.